So you have a 16 year old, right? Did I get it right? Yeah. Okay. So I want you to go back when you were 16. <laughs> how far yeah. off are we as far as how your, your, your daughter responds to the world that you did in, in your time? Like, well, I was a very quiet, quiet, quiet student. I never spoke in class. I never put my hand up. I was so quiet. I was I was born in a time where you're to be seen and not heard. And my mother put me in a Catholic school where she wanted that because she's come from Jamaica where everyone wear uniforms. So she just thought it made sense that I went mm. to Catholic school. A lot of people thought and that there too, wasn't. Eh? Oh yeah. A lot. A lot of people. And I don't know if it's like my mom who just thought, you know, uniform it is and that's what we're going with. But that was her her way of thinking it's best we go Catholic because you wear a uniform that ain't got to buy no extra clothes. Yeah. You know what you got to wear, yeah. right? Yeah. And having to see my, not see myself show up in classes, there I can count on one hand the amount of black kids that were in school. Mm. And so because I couldn't read in grade one, grade two, they made sure to just push me on because I was silent. Mm. I didn't misbehave. And so it's like check mark. She passed because she listens. Right. In high school, um, I was still quiet, but I was a walking time bomb. Really? In a sense that I had so much anger in me that I didn't realize how much anger I had in me until I fought. And, well, and I... So yeah. what were you angry about? I I couldn't tell you back then what yeah. I was angry about. Yeah. But I was angry because my father, you know, having to leave mm. my mom the way he did, you know, destroying us as he did with having to abuse her physically. I was angry when my mom wasn't available for me. And by the time I got to high school, I was already... Um, molested maybe three times already, wow. right? So I, I had ang just this anger. And then I didn't really have a, I didn't have a social life. Wow. So as soon as school was done, I had to be home because you have to take care at of a the certain other hour because I had to take care of the other one. So I didn't get to wow. mingle, you know, go to the movies, go to the mall. I don't know anything about that. That's, I don't know that kind of life. Wow. So when I, when I, See, my daughter, I always say to her, you know, I'm jealous of you. Yeah. I'm really jealous of you because this life, I don't know. I don't yeah. know this life. Yeah. Can't yeah. relate to this life. Yeah. But I'm helping to give you this life right. that you're living. And so every time as she as she got older, I didn't do it with my son because he's a male. But as she started to talk and start to share what's on her mind, all I kept thinking was, who was I when I was her age? You know, was I so vocal? Yeah. And so as she got older, I'm always marking myself in a sense, what were you like at 16? I was nothing like this child. She's working. She's a competitive dancer. She's a straight A student. She's so highly competitive that she competes even with herself. My, her father and I never tell her, you know, you got to bring in good grades. Yeah. No, she's, she's hard on herself. So she doesn't even give me room wow. to be that to her. And at her age, I was battling with my image. I was battling with suicide. I was battling with having to run away from home. I did not like myself. I didn't like where I was living. At that time, I was living in Rexdale. Um, I, had, I had to fight in my home just to survive when I had to face my abuser. But then when I left my home, I also had to fight because there was girls in the neighborhood who didn't like me just because I was a, a pretty girl. And a lot of students that I had to work with in the years of service of being a teaching assistant, I met students who were like, why do they hate me? And I said, because you're beautiful. And I'm like, here I am telling yeah. this child the yeah. same thing an adult told me and I couldn't believe it because it just doesn't make any sense. You yeah. just hate someone because they're pretty. Yeah. And I didn't even like myself. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't like who I was. How do you get through high school? with everything oh. happening. High school was my safe haven. It was a place where my name wasn't called to wash the dishes, to change the diapers, to cook 
and prepare food mm-hmm. for my siblings. So when I got there, I was so present Indeed. that I did not, yeah, my escape, I did not want to hear the bell for when 2.30 for me to get on that bus to go home. Yeah. What? And it was struggles. Go for it. Yeah, it was struggles just to get up in the morning because I struggled with my, um, I have iron deficiency. So oh. to get up yeah. after a long night of staying up, I am exhausted. Yeah. And then I get to school. So my absence was horrible by the time I got to grade 10. Wow. I had to take three buses out of Rexdale, Jamestown, to be <laughs> to be real frank, Jamestown, yeah. to get to St. Michael's. Um, oh, Saint, Bathurst. Saint Mike, no, no. Yeah. My, um, there's two of them. Okay. So it's St. Joseph, St. Joseph. Michael Power School. I don't know why oh, that was yes, the name. Yes. So they then called it Michael Power. Yes. And yeah. so I had to take it, take three buses just to get there. Wow. I didn't go to the schools across the street like West Humber yeah. or Marion Academy. My mother sent me out of, out of the area, and I'm and I'm grateful for that yeah. because I would have had to face horrible days in school. I probably wouldn't have graduated if I had to attend the schools in the area. 